Hey VC, Steen from the UK to shoot a room tour video, new room tour video. Um, shout out to Maggie for the room change. One for the room change. Um, and Rob, Yoda Box, still waiting on a system video, Rob. Um, don't make me come over there. Um, that's all I'm going to say, but. Um, <coughs> This is the dividing wall. Little sticker I've had for ages since I've got into um, hi-fi. Got that from a little shop called Richard Sounds, I think it's uh, bloody ages ago now, but uh, forgive the room, it is a bit of a mess. But this is a grand opening of the doors. Right, so. Let's go around the room as we mean to carry on. So basically, I've got a couple of units here from IKEA that have got my um, CDs and music DVDs. I'm very much a dumper, so I do like to dump crap everywhere. And because I've changed the room around, I'm not exactly finished moving all my bits. Love Star Wars, if you haven't guessed, then it will become evident as you move around the room um, so basically um, now have a desk um, with my laptop on it so this is where I'm most probably doing my videos from now on lighting's not very good so I'll end up having to do it in the day um, but then that just limits the, um, the videos uh, that I have to put you through which is most probably a godsend to some people. Um, four before Expedit here in the corner. Um, very few records in it at the minute. It's mainly storage, but um, obviously that will change as and when, just because I've moved the um, room around a little bit. As Jimmy and me uh, Beatles boxer I did the other day. So again, bits from Star Wars. I've got, um, you can't really see them, but there, there, and here, there's um, some uplighters, which I'll be getting some bulbs for, and then hopefully that'll uh, brighten up this side of the room a little bit. But, um, so that's basically my expedit there. Um, that in the middle, this is um, a crappy stack of records that I've got to bin. Um, Few box sets at the bottom there, and just some bits at the very bottom. To I've got records sent to me, and so I can do um, VCLT and things like that. Over here, you've got my um, Samsung 55-inch um, LED telly, uh, smart TV, um, and then you've got my Pioneer Blu-ray and um, Skybox. Um, I mean, anybody seen my last um, video, I think I did have um, a lot of AV equipment that I've literally just got rid of. Don't really, um, don't really listen to it much often now, so I decided to trade it in and uh, get myself some um, some uh, vinyl goodies, basically. So um, let me show you what I've got down here. Um, anybody knows I love box sets, so. Me, um, Oasis one, dig out your soul, and um, so basically, that one there is my Sabbath, um, that's the Who, Pearl Jam, and then me Green Day ones, things like that, and then my normal records across the bottom so I can most probably fill up a two before expedite if I wanted to at the minute so but um, luckily I've got a four before for the purchases that go as well so basically the system um, it's my um, HP um, ultrabook so currently running Spotify USB into my um, preamp over here. 
um, solid state so when I put music on it should sound better than a say normal laptop whether you can notice the difference or not um, just for the fact of the hard drive spinning and the noise and the fact that it's instant access and you know geeky computer stuff like um, play from memory which I suppose is um, something if you've got a hard drive um, it's not a solid state loads everything into the memory so you don't have to uh, worry about any lag or noises or things like that um, right onwards and upwards to the speakers these are my little Piegas um, TS3s I think they are um, on some Atacama um, Aurora stands um, the all about isolation anybody notices you've got um, um, granite slab at the bottom um, little uh, isolation feet there with the spikes going into and the actual shafts of them are filled with um, high density metal um, in a very nice fetching purple finish um, if anyone can see the gap at the top it's uh, actually you know you can see through it a lot of people use sand and things like that if it's a metal um, well, a metal stand because they can't see it but because this is um, visible I decided to go for the luxury option really um, to give you an idea of how big these are that's my hand so they're actually tiny I'm not a giant well I'm six foot three and I've got quite big hands but um, they are really that tiny um, obviously I have a pair which is what you'd expect um, that's my little DAC um, preamp ped phone amp combo um, anyone seen my last video or screenshots or anything I did have a uh, Denson uh, DM20 which is uh, uh, which was very good um, I had a separate Arcam DAC and a, a Riga ear headphone amplifier um, this baby basically does all of them in one unit um, it's a musical fidelity M1 S DAC um, which has took their headphone preamp which was a five star award winner and their DAC which was a uh, highly regarded DAC I think it's about four out of five stars put it into the one unit um, and to be honest with you it's, uh, it's um, I think it's more impressive than the Denson um, Arcam combo I had um, which is what upgrading is all about I suppose I'd be a bit unhappy if I went backwards um, Arcam DV29 um, or 27, I can't remember, it's a 29 I think. Basic DVD player, but um, you bypass all the gubbins, digital straight out into the uh, preamp. So um, that sounds as good as my £1,300 Arcam CD player that bit the bullet the other year. Um, so I decided just to carry on with that. And obviously with Spotify and the computer now, um, less need for, a, I suppose, a CD player as such. Um, power duties is uh, down to Arcams. Uh, FMJ P35 um, I don't know how P37 come into my head then but it's not, it's P35 um, it's about 100 watts RMS a channel which is obviously more than um, more than enough for the PA because I mean most probably slightly over the top but it's always more it's always better to have more power than um, overdrive speakers and then um, underdrive speakers um, so um, just be aware of that your people your vintage systems if a lot of them have uh, certain power ratings on them um, or I suppose the lower end systems as well um, just be careful um, to overdrive your speakers and with distortion and things like that and they might die a death um, um, the vinyl duties are taught by this my lovely Craft Acoustics um, valve phono preamp so that obviously gets fed into the preamp 
And then the, I suppose the piece that is this stolt is my new turntable that I've got. A um, few people see me post up um, bits about this and um, me going to have a look at it and listen to a new turntable with certain cartridges and things like that. So that is it in its current guise at the minute. So basically the guy who created this, um, Analog Works, is um, my hi-fi guy basically. Um, deals with Project, Nottingham Analog and Fletcher in terms of turntables. He um, is basically wanting to make a turntable for himself for something more of a budget but um, I think he went to Fletcher and said basically can you make a budget turntable and they said yeah we're going to but it took them years or it took them every year or something to do anything and he had supply issues with them so he decided to go his own way basically I think so you got the bearing under here is um, from a two grand two and a half grand Fletcher um, use a basic bamboo um, or oh, it's not bamboo I think this is um, birch ply so it's um, birch ply and then glue um, which is good for things like resonance um, I think it's all in always about 10 plus kilos I think this is about six or seven on its own the plinth so stops things like resonance and everything passing through it which is very important for turntable um, dampening ring which is the same thing you have on a Nottingham analog space deck and it's like 1500 pound turntable things like that um, but yeah so the arm I had on it is a Origins Live arm, it's just a basic one, £300, but it's, um, it won um, Best Arm Under £500 um, recently, and um, the cartridge on it is, um, don't be fooled, um, I have listened recently, um, was demoed on a um, 2M Red, and it blew my um, Riga away, my Riga P324. Um, absolutely blew it into the weeds. And, you know, it was I was in love with it from then. So it was just a case of what guys I got in and really. So, um, listened to it with a 2M Red, very good. Um, borrowed it and had it for a week with a 2M Black. And that was astounding. Um, went to his um, store and had a listen to a um, Nagoka Nagoka it's um, whatever MP500 I think it is or whatever the num letters are but 500 um, it was very good for detail but it was sort of lacking in bass um, this is um, a London deck of gold and when this was put on in his dem room um, I'm not ashamed to say it blew my bollocks off literally so um, literally within two minutes um, his friend his friend who is in the shop um, just said wow I might need to upgrade my cartridge and uh, I was sold basically I walked out of the dem room and I said I'm having that so um, he's gladly uh, let me take it away to sort of listen to it for a week or two um, so, but I'm pretty much thinking that's staying, even though it's a bit of an ugly duckling. Uh, the Nagoka looked a lot better, looked much sexier, but didn't sound as good. And the, um, the 2M Black, even though sounded very good, um, it looks a bit, um, I would say manufactured, but looks a bit uninspiring, I think. Not that that should go against the sound, it was very good, but this is better, I think, so. Um, power supply here is um, their equivalent of the um, Wave Mechanic, Nottingham Analog Wave Mechanic, just in a smaller box, basically. Went to the guy who makes it for Nottingham Analog and said, make me his power supply, and he did, which is, um, they're doing an upgraded version of it soon, so um, who knows what that might bring. I'm very tweaky, so if you haven't guessed it, power supplies, granite, atabytes, isolation, things like that. 
Good isolation is the key people at any level. Blue tack on the speakers if it's on a cabinet, keeping your cabinet or uh, what's it um, turntable away from your speakers, things like that. But um, one thing before I go, this um, is a cork nitrate mat. Um, anybody with a turntable, um, go to your local hi-fi dealer, see what turntable mats he does. Um, can be anything as um, different upgraded foam ones. Um, cork ones, cork nitrate, rubber, things like that. Um, you, you can get them from what, £10, £15. Um, try, ask if you can try a few, you know, even if you buy them and get a refund on them. Um, if they allow you to do that, it can make an outstanding difference to your um, music. Um, not on every turntable, and every turntable will be different, but. Um, you know, believe me, have a try, see what you think. Um, worst case scenario, you take it back. But um, I listened to three different mats on my own turntable, my Riga, before I got this, and each of them made an outstanding difference in terms of presentation, where the music was, um, in terms of the room and um, bass and things like that. So, um, worth a try. It's my um, tip. Um, so there you go and before I forget the piece de resistance the captain's chair could almost be out of Star Trek that chair um, you can see the well set of the sculpting of my buttocks but uh, yeah there you go right VC thank you for watching if anybody has watched um, see Maggie, I do change my room around. This is most probably the third, fourth time this year. And Rob, do a video before I slap you. I'm only joking, I won't slap you, I'll spank you. Cheers, bye.